Uh, welcome to this video tutorial in ArchiCAD 21. I'm going to show you how you can bring in a site plan, um, how you can then resize that to the right scale, then how to draw your ground mesh, then how to add contour lines, and then how to change the elevation, and then lastly how to put a slab into our curved ground and cut it out so we can build a house. Okay, so create a new project and new. Uh, you're going to need a, an image file, so .png or .jpeg of your of your site. And on the left hand side, I'm going to come down to fi the figure tool. I'm going to click on the top left um, settings dialog and click on open. Uh, mine's called Year 10, great, Year 10 Arch. So I bring that in and press OK. Now I just need to click somewhere down here. Mm, not ideal. I'll get the arrow tool and just relocate that. Okay, awesome. So this is how I firstly bring in any image into ArchiCAD. So next I need to n be able to bring in a scale. So sometimes you'll have a specific scale written. This I know is drawn at a scale of 1 to 100. And I know the measurement down here. Even though it's a bit of an angle and it's not best practice, I can still make do with this for now. So I'm going to need to use the line tool. And I'm just using the scroll wheel to zoom in a little bit. And I'm going to, going to draw from one edge here to the other. I want to be pretty precise. Next, I'm getting the dimension tool. And this should pretty much snap to one side of that dimension. So one click and two click. And I'm going to right click and OK. And just drag it down. So 11282. It's actually needing to, it's actually 14,100. So I need to change that. So what I'm going to do is, um, with the arrow tool, select my diagram I've brought in, press Control K, and this is going to resize my, my land. Okay, so the next step is to press OK. And now I want to click on one side of that line that I've drawn, and the other side. Now my drawing, um, if I zoom in and out, um, is resizing which is pretty handy. And now what I can do is you can see that distance sort of just to the right of my mouse going up and down. I can actually just type a number in if I know what the number is. So mine's 14100 and press enter and that will snap to being the right size. Um, if I want to just double check that, I can use my line tool and oops, just quickly say, yep, that's about right. Uh, as I said, I'm on an angle that's not best practice but that's okay. So I'm just going to press escape there, use the arrow tool and clean up, i.e. delete what I don't need. So those two lines. Okay, so next let's get this um, page looking a little better. I'm going to um, bring down my drawing so that I'm not getting in the way of these elevation and section markers at all. Um, we'll notice that this one is in the way. So I'm going to click on it and just move that eleva elevation marker. I just want to move it straight up. Um, and I'll grab this line as well and just move that straight up. Awesome. So kind of nothing intersects right now, which is going to be good moving forward. Okay, so we've rescaled our thing. The next thing is to bring in a gradient mesh. Now I'm just going to simplify this and draw it as a, a you know, trapezoid. So I'm going to click on the mesh tool. Um, just to identify what method you're using. Um, you're pretty much always going to want the the polygonal one. So okay, that's great, just missing a slight corner of my scan, no worries. I'm just pressing the mouse wheel down and in in order to grab my page and move it like that. I wish I could zoom in and out as well. Awesome, and this should snap pretty quickly back to, um, to where I'm doing. Um, I can do curving if I want. For the couple of people who are doing that, you can um, play around with that. It won't take you much longer. Okay, great. So I've drawn, and you can see a, an outline of my, my ground. If I go to my 3D view, so just minimize a couple of things here, which I don't need to see right now. Definitely don't need to see schedules. Awesome. I'm going to click on the generic perspective, uh, and I can see... Um, that this is all good. So that's just holding down the shift button and the scroll wheel down as well in order to free rotate. 
Um, just quickly, I'm going to go to view and turn off the construction grid display and the editing plane display. I don't really need to see that. Okay, so I've got my flat bit of land so far, which is awesome. So if I go back to the ground floor, which is where I've put my drawing, um, I need to now add my contour lines, which are these light images that you'll see running kind of north, um, south to north. So in the, um, the document pane, you should see spline. I don't see spline. Oh, sorry, it's in the more spline tool. What I'm going to do, um, I don't have much in terms of um, curvature in my spline, so it's going to be a few clicks, but it, if need be, the more clicks you put in, the um, more precise you can be. And you basically just want to start in, um, like down the bottom, and move beyond your site. And just sort of a double click to finish that out. Okay. Double click. Um, now I can't see where that goes, so I'm just guessing a little bit. And just remember, this is a quick video just to show you the process more so sure than to show you a, a super fine piece of work. I've got a, another one up here. It doesn't intersect my land, so I don't need to worry. Okay, so next step is I need to integrate these, um, these splines that I've just drawn onto my gradient mesh. So I need to, with the arrow tool, select my mesh and then click on the mesh tool. Now if I hold down the space bar over these um, splines, I can then add them. So I'll hold down the space bar and I'm going to fit to user ridges. And I'll replicate that on each of the other ones. Just OK. OK. And OK. Awesome. Now you probably will see more little points um, which will give you fi uh, finer and greater control. Mine, as, as you saw, were pretty simple. Um, splines, almost a straight line. So there's not much detail that needs to be um, transacted across here. I can add more points if I need to, but I really don't want to. Okay, so the next thing is I'm just going to use my arrow tool. Um, and I'm going to start adding in elevations. Now I know this line here is um, 12 meters, so 12,000. So I might just change this one point up here first. So if I click on that, and I've got a whole menu up here. So I can move these nodes, etc. But I want to come across to this one where I'm changing the Z height or the elevate mesh point. So if I click on that, as I said, this is about 12,000 on that corner. So I'm going to type in 12,000 and OK. Just quickly, if I go to my generic perspective, we should see just one point kind of like growing up. There we go. OK, so let's start to bring a gradual rise up. So, um, so that's 12 meter line. The next one is at 10 meters, so I'm going to click on just any of the ones in the middle. Click on it. I'm going to change that. I'm going to click Apply to All. That's going to automatically select all the ones in um, in connection with this. So I've already done 12,000, so it's going to be at 10,000. 10,000. Awesome. We can just double check again what that's going to look like. Okay. That's going to work pretty well. Okay. The ground floor, arrow tool, click on the spline, identify a point, change that to 8,000, and OK. So my, my reference lines are at 2 meter differences. Oops. Mm, don't want that. OK, there we go. Uh, so I've accidentally clicked off everything. I just need to select my ground mesh before then selecting the, the spline points. So I had 12, 10, 8,000, so this will be 6,000. And again, make sure that apply to all is ticked. And the last one, 4,000. So obviously you saw that I've done this first point as well. I need to do the other corners. So I'm gonna say that this one over here is at 2,000. And I don't want apply to all clicked because that's going to mess up everything. So two meters, four, six, eight, so I might call this seven thousand seven hundred. And eight, ten, I might just call this eleven thousand. Okay, now let's go to the generic perspective and just see what, what this looks like. Okay. Interesting. That's um 
quite an interesting block of land I've got. So in this scenario, there's meant to be um, sort of beach views are down over here. There's a few blocks in the way, but sort of beach over here and beach down here, and the, this is where the road is. Um, it's going to be quite a fun property to play with. Anyway, so let's go back to the ground floor and, and we'll do a quick slab. Okay, so I'm just going to click away. I'm going to get my slab tool. And again, just check what the, the method you're using is. And the polygonal is probably going to be, again, beneficial. I'm just going to zoom in and just sort of do my best to, to come up with a nice path. Um, don't worry about where the driveway is going to go, etc. at this stage. Um, just guess pretty simple. Yeah, so don't worry about where the driveway is going to go. Um, because we can do that as a separate slab later on. Um, I might just come straight up. Great. And awesome. So now, um, if I go back to my perspective, I've got a slab somewhere. It's actually going to be sitting at the bottom, um, but that's okay. So I'm going to go back to my ground floor. If I select my ground mesh and my slab, press escape a few times, there we go. All right, select slab, hold down the shift button and click on the, um, the mesh as well. Now click the mesh tool again. And I'm going to uh, hold down the space bar and just click on my, um, my slab and just try and cut this out. So I'm going to create a hole and fit to user ridge and OK. Now, fingers crossed, if we go to generic perspective, this should have a, a crater cut out as it does, which is awesome, but it's um, probably a bit deep. So what we might want to do is change the slab height. So if I just click in here on my slab, um, this is a bit of a, a cheat way, and you're probably going to need a bit more detail on how you're doing this. Um, but let's just, for now, because we're worried about the house, not the slab, um, let's just raise this up 55. 5,800, there we go. I'm using that number because I know that um, I was at 2,000, 4,000, 6 meters here. So that looks like a pretty good spot to start. So as I said, I'd, I can do another couple of slabs. So I'll go back to my ground floor, just click away, um, use the slab tool, and I'm just going to draw, um, I don't know, what the what the driveway access might be. So just, I don't know what that's going to look like. Just give me a quick and rough. Okay, that works good. Um, so again, use the arrow tool, select that slab, select the ground, and now hold down the space bar. Hmm, that didn't work. Let's try it again. <laughs> well, let's just double check it didn't happen. Okay, it didn't. So ground floor. Uh, let's try that again. Select the slab. Hold down the shift button, select the mesh, click on the mesh tool, and now hold down the space bar, and we're trying to add that. Great. And we're creating a hole. And OK. Go back to our generic perspective, and it's there again, but again, um, ridiculously low. So I'm just going to bump this up. Um, 5,800, I think we did. It's great. Um, so probably just got this little bit of land in here I'm going to want to get rid of on the next bit. And I might just kind of level that as, as grass. Um, so that's sort of a timber decking right now. If I press Control T, I can change what that looks like. Um, I don't know. Let's, let's just say it's concrete. Pretty boring right now. But let's just say it's concrete because um, that's what our car is going to be driving on. Mm, it didn't work. Concrete. Awesome. Pretty much as ugly as you can get. Um, so it's the same process, guys, to do the same for the, the porch landing, and you might just want to clear out this grass with a, with a different slab. Um, probably flatten that bit out as well, and you can just use that as a slab. So I'll just quickly draw that out, and um, I'll wrap up this video. So I'm just going to quickly trace what I've got here. Nice and quickly, I'm going to take out to this corner. I'm just going to flatten it out to the road. Awesome, and to there. Okay, so again, that's um, arrow tool, select the slab first, hold down shift, select the mesh, press the mesh tool, hold down the space bar, and create a hole. Um, with luck, this will be there, just a bit flat. So bring, no, just that one, great, 5800. And um, I've shown you how you can just quickly change the materials. 
let's just quickly change that to grass dark green why not so the last thing I might just quickly show you um, is that you know when you're building walls these are gonna go you know firmly up against a bit of dirt so you might want to <laughs> think about how you're going to have your house designed maybe you might not be having windows on this edge and you need a, a second story the other thing we can do is um, just in this view I can select this node in here and again I can change the Z height and I can just bring it down ever so gradually um, so do be mindful playing with this and you probably want to have it saved before you before you get playing around with this because there's um, definitely some space um, to have some issues if you um, if you don't know what you're doing and I'm not pretending that I know what I'm doing either so um, I really should have saved so this is just a little bit of landscaping that you're doing and you're allowed to do this in your project um, because that's just going to make your ground um, a little bit more workable. Okay, so that is everything I wanted and needed to show you. You probably now need to go and draw your house. Thank you.